And former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo visited California over the weekend to support Hong Kong. At an event, Hong Kongers demanded freedom for the city and an end to the Chinese Communist Party. Here's NTD's Cynthia Kai with more. On Sunday, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and senior advisor Miles Yu spoke at an event commemorating the founding of Hong Kong Freedom Beacon. Former Hong Kong businessman turned activist Elmer Yuan founded the organization after witnessing the Chinese Communist Party's, or CCP's, oppression. Two years ago, Yuan met with a CCP official at the height of the Hong Kong protests. During the meeting, the official asked Yuan what Hong Kong youth want. And the highest possible freedom rule of law and democracy. And he said, this is not real. Yuan said that this was the moment he understood the CCP's oppression. The entire communist leadership and for normal people, because they brainwash everybody, these universal rights does not exist. He explained that the concept of freedom does not exist under the CCP. And I proposed to the U.S. Congress, to several congressmen, I said, these guys are criminals. For the last 70-some years, they're criminals because they don't have to follow the law. However, the idea of freedom exists in Hong Kong due to its history as a former British colony. In 2019, widespread protests broke out across Hong Kong in response to a proposed extradition bill. This time, lawyers joined the protests alongside Hong Kong youth. The bill would have allowed Hong Kong to transfer criminal suspects to not only Taiwan, but also China, to be tried for crimes. Hong Kong residents were concerned the bill would increase the CCP's control over the region. Under the CCP, China's opaque court system has a 99% conviction rate. No, the CCP is an ideological party masquerading as a nation. They want to dominate the world. They want to change the way each and every one of you live here in the United States. Hong Kong's leaders eventually withdrew the extradition bill, November 2019. But the speakers say the CCP's control and influence remain a threat to human rights and the universal value of freedom. In fact, the Chinese Communist Party is not only the greatest foreign threat to America, it is the greatest forward, it is the greatest threat to the 1.4 billion people still living on the mainland. We have a China policy with an American attitude. attitude. Speakers encourage countries to decouple with the CCP. They say people should be aware that protecting Hong Kong's freedom means protecting the freedom of people worldwide. Cynthia Kai, NTD News, California.